What is a seer? Or who is a seer? Welcome again to Talking to God with Noe. I still remain your sister and friend, Noe Ezi. Today we'll be looking at what is a seer and the secrets of seers. Let's start this with Job chapter 4, 15 and 16. I'll be reading from Good News Version and it says, A light breeze touched my face and my skin crawled with fright. I could see something standing there. I stared but couldn't tell what it was. Then I heard a voice out of the silence. Another version would say, I felt a spirit pass and my hair stood up. That is a seer. Best people, a seer is everything. A prophet is different from a seer. Though that's a video for another day. If a prophet is the eyes, a seer is the head. And a seer is not just the head. A seer is the whole body. A seer sees, a seer smells, a seer feels, a seer tastes. So apparently, a seer moves in five realms. Yes, he sees, he tastes, he hears, he feels, and he smells. I think I missed that. A seer smells. No wonder the Lord said in Psalm 34, that tastes and see that the Lord is good. So a seer also tastes. And when it comes to feeling, remember the woman with the issue of blood? What happened between her and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? She touched just a hem of his garments. And what happened? Power left our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because the woman became whole instantly. And what happened? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ felt power leave him. And that was when he started asking, who touched me? That is a seer. A seer smells. A seer can step into a gathering. Like in a crusade. You know when a seer has been invited uh, um, to a crusade. A seer can smell the spirits of the dead. And it smells like, like I don't know, this chemical. They... they um, they use in preserving dead bodies in the mortuary. A seer can walk up to somebody and perceive that smell, that odor. And automatically, the seer does not need to see. But because the seer also smells, the seer automatically tells the person that the spirit of death is roving around that person. A seer also feels suicidal thoughts. A seer can walk up to somebody and automatically the seer starts feeling suicidal. Of course, the seer will not kill himself. But that simply means that that person is surrounded by the spirit of suicide. So the seer is not limited. The seer is not limited to hearing alone. No. The, seers, the seer feels. The seer smells. The seer tastes even before the seer hears. Hearing is like the last part of a seer. If you're diabetic or you've got issues with sugar, a seer can walk up to you and the seer's taste board will change. Trust me. The seer will just start feeling this sugary stuff in his taste board. And because he's a seer, Automatically, he will ask that person, do you have issues with sugar or do you work in a sugar factory? And trust me, the seer is not far from the truth. A seer feels joy and anger. A seer knows when you are depressed. A seer can walk up to you, you're, you're so depressed, and all of a sudden the seer mood changes. Like a mood swing. This is something that was not happening to this seer when he or she was alone. But as soon as he, he or she comes in contact with you, automatically there is, there is an angry mood swing. That is a seer for you. A seer feels what you are feeling. And if it's an overwhelming joy, when the seer comes in contact with you, 
automatically the seer feels like this butterfly in the belly, you know, stuff. And then the seer will automatically know that you are about to experience a joy, unspeakable, a joy, overflow, an uncommon joy. And that is why seers use this common word, I perceive. You know, it's like a common word with seers. I perceive. I feel. You know, I feel this deep down in my spirit. I feel this deep down in my thoughts. You know, I just have this feeling. These are, these are common words of seers. So as a seer, you walk with your five senses. You are hypersensitive. Stay glued to my channel. After this, I'll be doing a video on five signs to know if you are a seer. Five signs indicating that you are a seer. Another difference between the prophet and the seer is that the prophet sees the future. But the seer doesn't just see the future alone. The seer can take you back to your past. A seer is very sensitive. Like I said, a seer walks with his or her five senses. A seer can hit his or her right leg or left leg on a stone. And immediately, it means something. Immediately, he or she knows that there is a problem somewhere, especially with the direct or immediate family. That is a seer. A seer feels before he hears. A seer tastes before the voice comes. So these are the little differences between the prophet and the seer. The prophet hears, you know, the prophet is attentive. The prophet is just all about the voice of the Holy Spirit. But the seer works with signs, works with feeling, works with taste, works with smell. You know, the seer feels, the seer is hyperactive. Every sign in the life of the seer means something. A seer also faces challenges. I know somebody under the sound of my voice. With these few points I have made, you have realized that you are a seer. But I want you to also click on the subscribe button if you are yet to do so. Because after this video comes five signs to know that you are a seer. Five signs you are a seer. So child of God, come out of your shell. Don't be afraid. If the Lord has called you his own, he will equip you. You will not be put to shame. He will not disgrace you. The Holy Spirit is always there to guide you. You don't, even as a seer, you don't speak all the time. You still walk with the lead and the direction of the Holy Spirit. He will tell you when to speak. He will give you the boldness to walk up to that person and say, this is what I smell. This is what I perceive. This is what I feel about you. So I urge you this day, don't neglect these gifts. It is a very rare gift. We have prophets everywhere. Yes, though not all are called by God, but it is his to judge. But we have limited seers, those that are sensitive in all ramifications of their life. God bless you. Kindly click on the subscribe button. It's truly been a while. I want to use this opportunity to say I love you, my returning viewers, my new subscribers. The Lord has brought you to this channel for a reason, and that reason will be accomplished in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, and I'm happy for you if you are a seer. See you in this video. Kindly share. You have no idea whom you'll be bringing out from his or her shell. God bless you.